I'm Scott, Scott Schiller. People call me Scott Schiller. All right, so I'm not as good as Tom Hanks at doing the Forrest Gump thing, but it is one of my favorite movies. Just thought I'd make a little parody on that. I got the Forrest Gump hat. I've had it for a long, long time. One of my favorites. In this video, we're going to take a little step back again from the wiring. As I said before, during the progression of these videos in this series, I'm doing this exactly how I worked on the Jeep as I did it. And at one point, I got to the point where I was like, you know what? I really want to install the windshield. And I really want to install the hood on the Jeep. So I got my daughter and some solicited some you know, help from my family members to help me do so. I was like, Except for that windshield, I put that on myself. Let's see how I did it. It's not that hard. Basic little nuts and bolts, and it goes right on there. Let's check it out. A little disclaimer before we get started here, you should do this with two people. I didn't have anyone available at the time and I was really anxious to put it on. So what I did is I took a 1944 World War II hospital blanket there and I laid it over the cowl of the Jeep and I picked the windshield assembly up myself and I set it on top of there and kind of teetered it with my hand and I went ahead and installed this one thumb screw here so it would stay in place there so I could go ahead and shoot the video here and show you how to install this. I put all the pieces on this and I painted it before I brought it back in the house so it should be all set to go. I left this one loose on the other side so I can kind of show you how to line these up and what pieces go where. We've got our thumb screw and that's attached to the safety chain there that goes on the bracket. And here's the wavy washer, the ever popular wavy washer that gets talked about quite a bit. That just slides onto the shaft there on the thumb screw. And what you're going to want to do is lift up on that leg there of the windshield and kind of hold the corner of the windshield as you do so. You can lift that up and hold it and so you get that thumb screw lined up. And then just give it a couple turns and you should be secure. Again, I cheated and didn't video the process of when I was installing this myself. You should use two people. With two people, this is a piece of cake. I'm going to leave a little room here because I want to do a little bit of an adjustment. I just want to make sure that my cowl and the rubber gasket meet really well and nicer before I go any further. I'm going to have to go on the back side there and adjust the latches that pull the windshield to the cowl. But for right now, I just kind of want to set that windshield up and make sure that the rubber gasket makes contact in an even way across the back there. And we can make further adjustments that we need to on those brackets to make sure it's tight. I'm going to go ahead now and get the hood installed. But before before I do, I'm going to take the correct tap and I'm going to install it inside each one of the holes where the bolts go on the hood there and just make sure that everything is clean. It'll make it really easy to install these bolts. Now I'm being kind of a smarty pants here. I've got five of these because Ron Fitzpatrick sent them to me. He was proud of them to have them on the shelf in stock. They're the recessed head bolts that would go on a Ford. The size is quarter twenty by three quarter inch. In the two master parts manuals I've got, they're also listed as five eighths of an inch long, but I'm going to use the three quarter ones. Now let's take a look at this hinge here. It's going to become interesting later in the video series and story as I found out something very interesting after I installed this hood. It does have a couple little dings and little cracks in it, but it seems to be pretty solid. And I want you to make note here of the openings that are on the hinge itself because you can make adjustments left or right to almost a quarter of an inch to either side. The hinge itself does not pivot a lot either one way or the other when you open or close it, but I'll go ahead and fold it down here to show you the position in which it will be fastened to the cowl. Now comes the fun part. We're going to pick this hood up and flip it around and mount it to those five holes there on the cowl. It's really easy with the second person. You just hold the hood up and then you're going to line the holes up kind of in the center there and then you'll take one of the bolts and the lock washers and get that started. Once you get those holes lined up and that first bolt started, it's going to make it a whole lot easier, but getting that first one in sure is a lot of fun. While I'm doing this, I might add, I've only put two coats of red oxide primer and two top coats of the 33070 OD green on all of my parts. After I get this all assembled, I'm going to scuff it one last time and give it a last coat of paint. I've got the first bolt all threaded in here. It's about time, I know. And then I'm just going to go ahead and tighten it up finger tight. And then we'll reach over and line the hole that's furthest to the driver's side up. So I'm doing the two ends that are furthest away from the center there first to kind of keep everything steady and lined up. Then after I get those in, the hood shouldn't move left or right or up or down either way so I can install the last three bolts. Okay, we've got the two threaded in there about halfway so we can kind of let go and lean the hood back there to the windshield and thank your helper. Thank you very much, Jacqueline, for the help. That was fantastic. Now I'm going to go back through now and I'm going to install the remaining bolts here. I want to point out these two bolts on the top side here. Those are going to be for the ground straps later that we'll be doing a video for in the future. 
There's a kit that comes from Joe's Motor Pool that includes all of the ground straps or earth straps as necessary, and I want to be able to include those all in one video, so I will not be putting them in here in the hood and windshield video. So now we're going to go ahead now just install the remaining three bolts. We're not going to tighten them down yet because you do have to make a little bit of adjustment on that hood before you fully tighten all of them together. I'm anxious to check if the clearance on my air deflector there that's mounted on the hood will actually fall into place where it's supposed to on the two welting areas there on the grill in the front. So in order to get a kind of good fit, I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to tighten those bolts up just snug. I'm not going to fully tighten them because that way I will be able to move the hood hinge left or right to make my final adjustment. And I'll show you what I mean by that at the end of the video with a tape measure. I'm just going to take a socket and a ratchet here. I'm going to start in the middle. The bolt head itself is going to be centered in those hinges because usually that's about what you want to do. And we'll take measurements out here on the fender when we get all done installing it. So I've got them tightened up snug. They're not fully tight. I can still move the hood left to right, but they're not going to flop back and forth when I fold this hood down just to make sure that that air deflector clears those two areas up there on the grill where I've got the welting. I'll show you the little piece here right there on the screen left and right there where I'm concerned about that deflector hitting. We'll drop it down here and hopefully this is going to clear. I've been worried about this since the day I put that deflector on that hood and it seems I'm just going to clear it there so everything's A-OK -okay with that measurement and I can go ahead now and be unworried that that's not going to fit. I'll bet when I give those bolts the final snug that that will clear absolutely perfectly, so I'm good to go there. I've been worried about that, like I say, for a while. I don't know why that stuff worries me like it does. It does. I'm, I'm assuming it does in your project as well. Okay, so now we've got all our bolts snugged up, and we're going to be ready to fold this hood down, and then I'm going to show you where the points that I measured from on my fenders. Now, the fender is not straight across or parallel with the line of the hood, so you want to kind of take a measurement from the same spot on both sides. I'm using right where the radius turns on the front side of the fender there, and I'm exactly on the back, and then I'm going to check both sides to make sure that the measurements between the hood itself and those radiuses where I've picked on my fenders, they're the two furthest distances apart are almost or exactly the same. I was able to come within a sixteenth of an inch. The other thing you want to look at here is the gap between your hood and your fender and make sure that that is kind of parallel and the same. And in my case, it's about just under a half of an inch, which to me is acceptable. And I'll tell you a little secret about this hood in a different video. I think you'll be surprised. Okay, so I'm in the dashboard side now, and you notice this little dimple here that's on the cowl where our bracket goes. That little dimple engages in those little teeth on the side of that bracket. Now, what you're going to have to do is loosen those two screws up and adjust up and down to where this latch pulls that windshield and that seal tight on that gasket. Now, if it's too hard to pull, you're going to have to adjust up or down until you get a nice seal on this gasket here. You'll have to do it on both sides. It takes a little time to do. We installed those brackets and those hit latches in the previous video. The last thing I want to show you here is the Joe's Motor Pool reproduction chains, and those just simply clip open and shut. You're going to install the one through the bottom front hole there on your mounting bracket, and then loop that around the inside there of your thumb screw. The hood and the windshield are installed. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. So we got those all installed. Thank you, my daughter there, Jacqueline Schiller, for helping me out there, picking that up and, and holding that for me while I got those bolts in there on the cowl. We got it all together. Now it's really starting to look like a Jeep, so now I'm getting excited. So we start progressing more and more and more. Still going to have some wiring to show you and some other accessories. Going to be bolting some things on in between. When I finish the electrical series, which we're getting close on. We're getting very close on finishing the electrical wiring series. We're going to kind of put that all into a playlist so you can just see that because we kind of have been dancing around a little bit, having some fun with the videos. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking that subscribe button down there and hit that little bell as well so you will know when we release the new videos. All right, my friends, till next time, keep it safe and happy jeeping.